Hey YouTube, today I'm gonna go through a tutorial of how to make your own virtual cruise car. Now, I've already done a video on virtual cruise cars that I'm gonna link down below if you have no idea what it is or you just want a refresher. Basically, it's a custom phone lock screen that you put onto your phone and it's got your contact information, your photo, maybe a QR code. So in that video that I filmed originally, that was about a year ago, I actually made a Google Docs template that I made available to everyone so that they can use to make their own However, since then, I found nicer, easier, better ways to make a cruise card. So today, I'm going to walk you through one of those nicer, newer methods, which is using one of the online tools that's available for free out on the internet. By the way, this is not a sponsored video. This is just really, truly what I found to be like the best ways to make a cruise card. But hey, if any of the companies out there want to sponsor me, I am not opposed to it. By the way, all my cruise card and virtual cruise card advice is also on my blog, justjoeyt.com and I'm gonna link that down below if you wanna follow along there. The first of the two methods I'm gonna talk about is actually created by a fellow cruiser. I noticed this uh, about a year ago and it's actually by someone called Jeff Prosecco. I'm so sorry if I mispronounced your last name, my apologies. Uh, but Jeff has created a really super easy to use website where you can just put in uh, your photo, put in your name, put in a link for a QR code, and like literally in seconds, it will give you a really nice wallpaper you can set as your last screen. So I'm gonna link that down below. So that's like the easiest option I've seen. Like literally in 30 seconds, you can have a cruise card for your phone lock screen ready to go. The second method I'm gonna go through is using one of these online design websites that you can sign up for for free. And the advantage of this is it takes just like a little bit more time, but you get kind of complete control over where the photos are gonna go and what kind of text to put in and all of that. So that's what I'm gonna give you guys a tutorial on today. And it's actually a really easy process. So the one tool that I was playing with and I've been using and it's been pretty good is Canva, C-A-N-V-A dot com. Again, this is not a sponsored video, but Canva, I'm not opposed to it. So hey, reach out. So they've got a mobile app as well, but it was so easy to just use the website and without having to download anything that when I was playing around with it, I just used the website, but they also have an app, we prefer that. So what I did was I signed up for a free account with them. I didn't have to put in any of my address or payment information or anything. So it's gonna want you to sign up for Canva Pro and you don't need that. Again, the free account is all you need. So you can skip those prompts. So I was playing around with it, already created a cruise card just as like a test, which is the one you see on the screen here. But for this tutorial, we're gonna create a new one from scratch. So we're gonna click the plus icon down here and we're gonna select phone wallpaper. It's gonna offer up a bunch of different templates that you can try to use if you want. But if you just swipe down like that, you can see just a blank canvas if you choose not to use every templates and that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna hit the uh, plus icon down in the bottom left and I can go to upload and I can upload a photo or anything that I want. So I'm gonna pick a photo that I have. Well, not those. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna pick a G-rated photo uh, that I have from somewhere. Uh, that many G-rated photos in here, is there? I'll give you a tip as well. Ooh, hi, Sean Mendes. Well, oh, sorry, just distracted by Sean Mendes on Instagram taking his pants off. Oh, whoa, wow, who doesn't wanna see that? Okay, I'm sorry because Sean Mendes is getting like naked and we have to watch this. Okay, I'm just gonna say, Sean Mendes can get it anytime he wants. Going back to the tutorial. One way to just get a really good photo of yourself if you use social media is just to go on your social media and just get a photo from there. So for example, this is my Instagram and uh, okay, that's a nice wholesome photo that I can use for my virtual cruise card. And if you already have this photo in your camera roll, you can upload it from there. Or in this case, I'm just gonna screenshot from my own Instagram because that seems to be like the easiest option. And now I can go back to my browser and I can hit upload files. It's gonna upload from my device from my photo library and that's the photo and I'm gonna hit add. It's uploading right now and I can tap on that photo and then it will add it to my design and I can resize it. I can crop it with these little bars on any of the edges. Let's put in some text. At the bottom I can hit the plus sign again whenever I want to add something new and I'm gonna select 
text add a heading. It pops a text box into the template. Joey, let's put my name on there. That sounds like a sensible thing to put on. I mentioned this before in my Cruise Car 101 video and also in my Cruise Car 101 blog post. Some basic ingredients for things you want to put onto your cruise cart, whether a physical one or a virtual one for your lock screen, is a photo, your name, contact information, any that you want to share with other people, and your stateroom number. I'm going to add a subheading and uh, I'll put whatever my room number is for the cruise. I don't remember what it is, but let's just make up a number. I've got my photo, I've got my name, and I've also got my room number. Obviously, I can customize these things. I can select a different font. If I want to be fancy, there's all these options here. The room number, maybe I want to make that a little bit bigger, so I can just drag the slider. It's very popular to put a QR code onto your virtual cruise car so that when someone else points their phone at your lock screen, you can scan the QR code, you can take them directly to any link that you want to put in there to your Instagram, to your Facebook, to anything that you want. So you can do a QR code directly from Canva as well, as long as you have the link for whatever you want the QR code to link to. Again, I want to add a new element, so I'm going to hit the purple plus icon in the lower left. And I go scroll over to apps. And then there's a QR code app that I can click on. And it's gonna ask me what URL I would like for the QR code to link to. Let's say I want to link to my blog, which is justjoet.com. Generate QR code. And there's the QR code and I can put it anywhere on the screen that I would like. I can change the size. I can maybe put it to the side of my name and I can resize them and drag them along however I would like. We can even change the color of the background here. So let's say I want a black background and then I want my text to be white. So I can really easily, like literally in 10 seconds, I've done that. Pretty easy to use. You can add as many photos as you want, as much text as you want, multiple QR codes if you want. I like this because it's really, really easy to use. It's free, but it also gives you like a lot of control, especially for you more creative types to kind of make your virtual cruise card your own, right? I can add multiple photos and I can kind of drag things and rearrange things around however I like. It's just so versatile while still being easy to use. This is probably like my recommendation for most people so that they can tinker around and kind of try out different things. Once you're happy with your design, go to this share icon in the top right and then you can hit the download button and then you just click download and then hit the download button and it will actually download that image to your device. So over here, I've got it here in my downloads. I can click it to open and I can save the image, put that onto my camera roll. And now I can go into my settings and I'm going to wallpaper, new wallpaper, go to photos and tap on this one that I just downloaded. And then I can resize it and then I can click add. Cool. And there it is. So now this is my new lock screen. So this one, obviously I created it super, super fast in like two minutes, but you can really play around with different colors, having different types of photos, different fonts, different text, different QR codes. The one tip that I do have is look at the phone that you have and see where the clock is on the lock screen and also uh, where the notifications pop up. So I've got an iPhone, for example, and there's a clock at the top with the date. And then there's also the notifications that pop up down here. So when I'm making the wallpaper, I'll be careful to leave blank space on the wallpaper so that, you know, the clock doesn't kind of go over my face. All right, so that's my tutorial for how to make your own virtual cruise card to have a custom lock screen on your phone, which I think is a really great thing to have, especially if you don't feel like paying for and getting physical cruise cards, which I think is still like, a more fun and more whimsical way of doing cruise cars, but since so many people have their phones, I would also recommend doing the virtual phone cruise card as well. And the one advantage of doing this is that in case you drop or misplace your phone on the cruise, whoever finds it will know exactly who the phone belongs to and they can reunite you with your phone. So, Highly recommend it to do this. All right, YouTube, that's it for today. And just as a reminder, I've got videos on cruise cards and virtual cruise cards. If you want to just find out more about what they are besides this tutorial that I just did today. And I also have more information about those in my blog as well, just joeyt.com. Until next time. Bye, YouTube.
David bought this poster for our door, thinking that we could put all our faces on. I think everyone else got it in the world. Good looking models. <laughs> yeah. And then Joey's just not happy because Joey's faces. Which one's the face? Look how sexy you are. I can make them interchangeable, it's fine. Oh, just Joey's face. Aww. Aww, Joey. Go away. Can you explain to my YouTube viewers, like, what we're doing? Yeah, what, what's the. Just having some fun. These are four best friends, and their bodies have gone downhill recently. So. Fuck you! <laughs> what oh we're trying to do is pick them back should up. Should we talk about your body, honestly? No, we really shouldn't talk about that. Oh my god. It's coming out later, Joey. You'll get to see that later. God. I'm so confused. Still confused. Still confused. I don't get it. I'm so, I'm so fucking confused. <laughs>